craftsmanship as far as it is as far as it's concerned to the oil painter or any fine artist the very most important thing to remember is that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link there are many elements involved in the craftsmanship of making a painting but begin by thinking of building a house you think of its foundation what are you going to paint on or what are you going to draw on what is the surface cotton is one of the lousiest substances next to cardboard or paper because the fibers of cotton are small they're they're short they're weak I actually shouldn't say it's the lousiest but it's not the best for plain air studies and things I like to use linen glued down to a birch panel gessoed on both sides I want a solid foundation something that's not going to poke or wear out fall apart cotton wouldn't be too bad the weave of cotton is just not as aesthetically pleasing here is a gessoed panel glued down to birch gessoed panels get heavy when they're large so I just stretch the, the linen also once in a while I like to work on a toned surface but that is a part of the craftsmanship understanding what you're going to paint on using fine linen to support the paint a wood to support that or else just fine stretched linen craftsmanship we need to understand the mediums we use to thin the paints with some people will use turpentine or other mineral spirits to thin their paint they don't understand that turpentine or mineral spirits are solvents they'll destroy the paint they break it down that what holds the paint together is linseed oil solvent breaks out of down you have nothing left but pastels and that's not going to hold to your painting so I like to use a good oil uh, gambling this is like a linseed oil with some sort of uh, alkyd resin into it to add strength for my landscapes for portraits I like to use liquid which again is a um, alkyd based medium sometimes they're going to use a little bit of solvent mixed in with that just to thin it out a little bit but not enough to destroy the binding agent the what holds the paint together there again oil paints are pigments that have a binder the binder is linseed oil and if you destroy that you have nothing what do you uh, this is called viscosity think of the paints viscosity to control your paints to have good craftsmanship you need to understand how thick it is or how thin it is oil paint can be thick like Vaseline or it can be thinned down to a point where it's like a water paint you can thin it you can see through it and you can make a wash with it so you can no other paint can do that acrylics will do it a little water paint certainly can't so all to do with craftsmanship is knowing your paints here's a fine bristle brush hog bristle a fine sable and to work with craftsmanship we need to understand the paint viscosity and what what brush we're going to use so we could have a little wash uh, we might want a little more blue to make like a, a, a sky type wash something uh, looks, it's too bright uh, too, the chrome is too high let's make it there we go there's a little sky thin the paint down but I'm using uh, a strong resin alkyd mixed in with the oil when this dries it's going to be hard as a rock it's going to be on there forever now we could uh, make some little flowers I want to have the viscosity thinner excuse me thicker than this wash but not too thick uh, of course you know flowers wouldn't normally be sticking up in the sky but you can make lines with your smaller brush so you can understand the uh, viscosity of the paint is very important but not so thin that it falls apart craftsmanship again your painting your work of fine art is only as strong as its weakest link let's take and make a little um, impasto here heavier paint and let's make it uh, a little brownish 
And again, it's a warm, uh, broken yellow. So we'll make a impasto field. You could say uh, there's going to be some wheat. And understanding craftsmanship, you don't want to have too many layers of paint built up on top of each other. If they're thick, they'll dry unevenly and they'll break. They'll crack. They'll come apart. The rule is fat over lean. Your underpainting should be lean. If you're going to do several layers of dry paint, lean in oil content, thin paint, let it dry and build up from there. So let's uh, add some wheat to that. Heavy oil makes the paint the viscosity about like honey and uses sable. We could just uh, lay the paint on top. Look at that. It's luscious. Luscious paint. And we'll make a lighter value to stand out against that. Adding more white. It's still a broken yellow. It's very light. And little sparkles of sunlight dabbling on the the wheat there in the field. Hopefully the camera focuses well. You can see that. So craftsmanship, solid foundation, solid paint, good brushes, understanding viscosity, understand drying, 